do you work for or own a managed service provider business or IT consulting business? Are you responsible for marketing, sales, business development, customer success, or overall leadership of the company? If so, you're definitely in the right place and you'll want to watch this short video excerpted from a webinar recording we held a little while back on tips and best practices for managed services lead generation and improving lead quality as opposed to lead quantity. We'll look at the answer to the question, how can we generate more of the right quality managed services leads? If you get good value from this video, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. So how can we generate more of the right quality of managed service leads? Quality versus quantity, that makes an enormous difference because it isn't just about getting more strangers, more visitors to your site. It isn't just about generating more leads on your site. Ultimately, we want the leads that convert, that are marketing qualified, that match up on the geographic issues, that match up on the size issues. Um, and we want the marketing qualified leads that are gonna more, be more likely to and be more receptive to your content and become sales ready to pass off to your sales team. And we want those sales ready leads that where a significant percentage of them become opportunities and ultimately clients. And not just clients, but profitable clients. So, so there's a lot of interim metrics to look at to make sure that we're focused on lead quality. It really does all start with buyer personas though. Uh, in terms of the quality, uh, generally the higher the perceived value of your premium content offer that's advertised on a landing page, the more information you have the right to ask. So in other words, like when we do a simple one page checklist for ourselves or for a client, you can ask a couple fields. A 30 page ebook or a 100 page ebook has much higher perceived value than a one page planning checklist and you earn the right to ask for more information. If you're inviting people to a one hour webinar or a lunch and learn or something like that, you earn the right to ask for more information. If you're doing something that's highly personalized on a one-on-one -on -one basis, like a, a needs assessment or consultation or, or a IT audit or something like that, or um, something along those lines, you earn the right to ask for more information. So generally, your ability to ask more qualifying questions goes up as the perceived value of that goes up. Um, asking those questions too is hugely, hugely important to helping you properly segment the leads because the first cut on the leads is are they qualified or not? And by asking the right kinds of questions, you can determine that without necessarily having to touch every single lead. And then by the, the responses they give you, it can allow you to bucket them by buyer persona, it can allow you to bucket them based on where they are in the journey. So the, the right quality, the, it starts you know, with understanding your buyer personas, it, it starts with having valuable enough content on those landing pages, sitting behind those landing pages that you earn the right to ask for certain kinds of questions and still have a decent conversion rate on there. But it really needs to be focused not just on quality, uh, but in quantity at the same time. And one other one other side issue that, that um, we're going to talk about in a few moments is the idea of, def of having goals. Having more leads isn't enough. We need to be specific about how many more leads do we want. Do we want 10 lead qualified leads a month? Do we want 50 qualified leads a month? Do we want 100 marketing qualified leads a month? And it's not just about being specific. We have to have a way to measure it. It has to be something based on historical performance that we have a likelihood of being able to, to get to. It has to be something that's meaningful and relevant to the overall mission of your, your company, of your firm. And it has to be tied to a deadline. It has to be something where we say, okay, you know, right now we're getting one lead a month. We want to get to the point that we're getting 10 marketing qualified leads a month by 12 months from now. And you put that date in your, in your platform, your software, your calendar, and you, you hold yourself accountable to it. Everyone can say, I want more leads. Everyone can say, I want 100 leads or qualified leads, whatever it is. But if you don't give yourself a deadline, how do you know that you're actually working towards it? So again, to generate more of the right quality managed service leads, make sure you invest in, in creating and developing those buyer personas. Make sure you have really awesome premium content that's available for those buyer personas, stuff that's really, really good sitting behind landing pages. Make sure you take into account the journey so you're not like the obnoxious car salesperson that, that just only wants to talk to you if you're ready to buy today. And make sure that you're, you're holding yourself accountable to goals. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and we are so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value from its content, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. Hope you're having a great day and we wish you great success.